As some of you may know, I, I'm a Browns fan, and uh, the the trauma that is that that has inflicted on me might explain why I am the way I am today. Um, I've been a Browns fan for a long, long time, and uh, you know, and I've experienced my fair share of uh, disappointment. Um, I remember when I was six years old. I can remember watching uh, the Browns in the playoffs, one game away from the Super Bowl. I bet most of you can't remember a time when the Browns were actually good, but they were one game away from the Super Bowl, and they were winning 20-13. to 13. And they're playing the Denver Broncos, and John, John Elway was the quarterback, and they had the ball on the two-yard line with five and a half minutes left in the game. It looks like the Browns were going to the Super Bowl. So everybody, a lot of Browns fans were pretty excited. Well, John Elway drives the 98 yards and ties the game up, and the Broncos win in overtime. Um, just devastating uh, as, a, as a Browns fan. Uh, I remember going in my room crying. I was six years old, going in and crying and screaming that I hate John Elway. Um, so as you can see, some, some childhood trauma. So the next year, the Browns are playing the Broncos again, one game away from the Super Bowl in the AFC Championship game. They have the ball, and they're going for the, the tying touchdown, and they fumble the ball at the one-yard line, and the Broncos recover and end up winning the game. Um, so you can kind of see the, the disappointment there, and, and you know, and then the years where they've not been very good. And this year, I think they pulled maybe the greatest Browns move of all time by, uh, by having a talented, talented team and still missing the playoffs and not being very good. Uh, and, and so you can see that even though the Browns, they, they would almost tease you and give you hope, and then they end up disappointing you. In fact, uh, when I pass away, I'm going to have the Cleveland Browns be my pallbearers so they can let me down one more time. Uh, in the Bible, it says in Romans chapter 5, verse 5, it says, And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. And so in this verse, you can see that unlike the Cleveland Browns, the hope that God promises will not disappoint us. We will not be left disappointed. Now, there may be disappointing times along the way, but in this verse says is that God's hope will not disappoint us. Uh, and that is a promise that we can carry with us because it says in the verse, um, he, we know he loves us and he's given us his spirit to fill our hearts with his love. So you can see right there that because God loves us, his hope will not disappoint us. He, he will not, um, he, he does work out everything towards our good. And so uh, as we go through some tough times, it, it's, easy, it's uh, a thing to remember and to walk in is that God's hope will not disappoint us.